Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another enlightening session in our PCI DSS implementation series. Today, we embark on a journey through the corridors of physical security, a cornerstone in the realm of information security. Our focus, the pivotal role of PCI DSS Clause 9 in fortifying the defenses of your payment card data. Understanding the essence of physical security, in the ever-evolving landscape of information security, physical security is the bedrock upon which all other protective layers stand. Picture this, it's not just about securing servers, data centers, or point-of-sale terminals, it's about safeguarding the tangible assets that house or transmit your sensitive data. Asset Protection Think servers, data centers, and point-of-sale terminals. Without physical security, these assets become vulnerable to theft, tampering, or unauthorized access. Data integrity, protecting systems and data storage devices ensures data remains intact, shielding it from physical damage or manipulation. Access control, who can enter and interact with critical infrastructure. Physical security answers this question, preventing unauthorized access that could lead to data breaches. Redundancy and resilience, physical security planning incorporates redundancy and disaster recovery measures, ensuring business continuity even in the face of physical threats. The importance of correct physical security implementation. Correctly implementing physical security measures is not just a regulatory necessity, it's a strategic move to prevent data breaches and maintain trust with customers. Compliance, PCI DSS Requirement 9 underscores the significance of maintaining physical security measures. Compliance is not just about ticking boxes, it's about preventing data breaches and preserving trust. Data protection. Robust physical security measures make it exponentially harder for attackers to compromise payment card information, ensuring the sanctity of cardholder data. Reputation management, a data breach can severely damage an organization's reputation. Robust physical security helps prevent such incidents, preserving trust and brand reputation. Legal and financial consequences, non-compliance with PCI DSS, including Clause 9 can result in significant financial penalties and legal repercussions. Correct physical security can mitigate these risks. Zoning in physical security and network segmentation. Now, let's draw parallels between zoning in physical security and network segmentation in the digital realm. Zoning in physical security, we divide a facility into security zones with different levels of access control. These may include public areas, office spaces, and secure data centers. Network segmentation. Similarly, network segmentation involves dividing a network into isolated segments, limiting access and preventing lateral movement by attackers. Parallels. Both zoning and network segmentation enforce the principle of least privilege, minimizing the attack surface and enhancing overall security. Unraveling PCI DSS Clause 9. Now, Let's dive into the specifics of PCI DSS v4. On page 109, PCI DSS v4 states, Any physical access to cardholder data or systems that store, process, or transmit cardholder data provides the opportunity for individuals to access and or remove systems or hard copies containing cardholder data. Therefore, physical access should be appropriately restricted. Breaking it down into three areas. Requirements for sensitive areas. Requirements for the cardholder data environment, CDE. Requirements for the facility. Consider this example of physical security zoning. Zone 0, outside the facility where we have no control. Zone 1, the business premises or building. Zone 2, the sensitive area. Zone 3, the CDE. Each zone has a different level of security applied, including access control, duration of stay, visitor logs, and more. Implementing PCI DSS v for Clause 9 Requirements Let's take a closer look at some key requirements. 9.2.1 Appropriate facility entry controls to restrict physical access to systems in the CD. 9.2.1.1 Monitoring individual physical access to sensitive areas within the CD with video cameras or physical access control mechanisms. Remember, these measures are not just checkboxes. They contribute to a robust information security posture. In conclusion, PCI DSSV for Clause 9 emphasizes that physical security is not merely a compliance requirement. 
It's an essential component of robust information security. By protecting the physical infrastructure that houses payment card data and aligning with zoning principles, organizations can fortify their defenses, comply with PCI DSS, and reduce the risk of data breaches and security incidents. Join us in our next session as we unravel the intricacies of PCI DSS Requirement 3, Data Encryption. Until then, stay vigilant, stay secure,